This is Abraham again from Jerusalem with one more um, Anime Pro 5, Anime Studio Pro 5 tutorial. Um, today we'll be doing um, uh, how to lock bones. Yes, many times, especially uh, characters' feet. We don't want it leaving the ground so easily before jumping. So we are going to use one of the files that comes with the default installation. Uh, it's on file, open, then we have here on tutorial, it's under the um, installation of the Studio Pro number 3, and then you have a 3.2. We've seen this file before, but this time we'll be working with Freddy. Yes, Freddy is this cartoon monster over here. And to start, we're going to select him. We have several layers. If you don't see the layer window, ask for layer window. And we are be selecting Frank. That's Frank. All right. Now first we're going to constrain the bones of the legs so they don't fool around. Look at the current situation. This is not normal. We don't want that to happen. We want to have normal bone movements in our animation. So we're going to constrain. Yes, we'll be constraining these bones. Um, we already learned before how to constrain a bone. We select the bone. Then we have the bone constraint dialog box. In this case, it will be minus 10 and 120. No need for a name this time. You can already see that the bone doesn't band like before like this one for example uh, it does band see now we'll be constraining this bone as well Act select bone tool we have bone constraints over here needless to say the values are going to be the exact inverse this is going to be minus 120 and the other one the second Maximum is going to be 10. We're going to close and the legs are ready just for the sake of testing. Uh, this is also not bending all the way as before. Fine. Fine. We are done with the layers. Now let's see timeline. The timeline on phase 24. Look what happens get the translate tool and the whole monster move, the whole character moves. We don't want that to happen. This is not natural. We want the character to jump. Therefore we'll be locking the feet. Yes, the feet is made of Timeline, select first frame, that's the frame we want to work on, and let's select the bone. Select tool, click here, and I'm going to lock the bone. The second bone also lock the bone. <coughs> and if we go back to frame 24 on the timeline we see that our behavior is not the same as before now our character folds the legs before jumping up and down meaning that the bones will be released but only after it's not possible to hold them on the ground anymore and that's our tutorial for today, how to lock bones. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.